Okay, so let's connect uh, to that MySQL database. So we cannot just like log into it because it's uh, once a container is running, it's kind of um, it's it's a service that's that's already up and running, and um, and you want to interact with it um, using um, kind of like a, a a connection, a database connection. That's why that port, remember that three three zero six port that we put in there, that's the default MySQL database port um, so that other applications can can uh, can talk to it so what we're gonna do it's a it's kind of like a it's a it's a it's an elegant hack we're gonna run another container but it instead of downloading another kind of like image we're gonna run the same MariaDB um, uh, image but f using another container that will connect to this first MySQL or MariaDB container that we're running here that it, uh, the one called DB um, and then connect to it and execute a MySQL command to be able to go inside of it. So let's see how we do that. So we're going to do docker run name MySQL client. So I'm calling this container MySQL client and um, it's going to it's going to have all the MySQL like libraries but it's not going to run the, the database itself in, in that container. It's just going to be the means for us to be able to connect to the original DB container. So um, I'm going to pass IT, which means interactive and uh, terminal. <clears throat> so this is going to expose kind of like an interactive terminal for us to, um, you know, use on, the, on, the, on this terminal here. And then I'm going to link the DB uh, container that's already running here. And inside this container, the, the MySQL client, it's going to appear with the name MySQL. So this is kind of like a mapping. That external container called DB, map it internally here as MySQL. Um, and I'm going to do RM, which means um, remove the container once you exit uh, from, from, uh, from using it. So the image, again, we're going to use the same MariaDB so it doesn't download anything extra. And then I'm going to say, <clears throat> do this uh, shell command. And the command you're going to execute once you start this container is the following. MySQL user root uh, dash password test. Remember how we, in, like the first time we installed or run the, the DB container, we said that the MySQL root password was going to be test. So we're passing here the password test. And then finally host is my SQL and then end quote in there. So again, docker run dash dash name, my SQL client is going to be the name of that container, dash dash IT, um, I mean dash IT, dash dash link DB to my SQL internally, dash dash RM, the name of the image, MariaDB, and then sh dash C quote exec my SQL dash U root. See that I don't have any spaces in there p test and then h my sql and let's do that see so now i mean i have the prompt of the mariadb um, database and this is basically a my sql kind of like a prompt so what can i do here well i'm in a my sql database so i can do show databases and i see that i have information schema my sql and performance schema which are the the normal um, my sql um, databases so <clears throat> let's try to create, let's say, a, a test database. So I'm going to create database here, um, and I'm going to call it um, my test user uh, database, OK? And then if I do show databases again, I see that I have my test user database there. Um, then you can use it, my test. <clears throat> user DB. Now I'm, I'm inside that um, that database, and I can create a table here, right? Create table. Let's create a table called user, with the user ID being an an int, not null. Um, auto increment, and you should be familiar with this with these commands here. The username is going to be a, a varchar uh, 64, <clears throat> not null. 
and then um, the password is going to be a varchar 64 not null and then the primary key is the ID user ID right and then close that <clears throat> that uh, table was created so if I do show tables I see the user was created and then I can insert into user values um, Jorge one two three four five uh, oh, it's in my call so now if, thou, if I do select star from user there's my record so this is a fully functioning database server that uh, I have here and um, I can just exit from here just using um, exit now let's see what happens uh, did that docker image um, continue running nope it's not so the docker ps now shows that it, the only database running is the MariaDB so see how it uh, that RM flag that we passed uh, earlier here destroyed that client um, after I finished uh, doing stuff with it um, so let's start kind of like preparing um, the database server itself um, for our blogging application um, but first we need to download the the code for the for the app so let's see how we do that 